Now let's check out the modulation matrix, which we can access by hitting this smart button over here. So over here, you can set eight different assignments for modulation. So you set a source, a destination, and you get a depth control. So for example, in the source, let's choose the mod wheel. Then hit the plus button to move to the depth parameter. We can set the depth amount here. Then hit that plus button again to set the destination. Let's choose destination as LFO one rate. So now when I hold down a note, uh, before we try that, let's actually get rid of the filter modulation. So the filter is completely open. And let's crank up the pitch modulation depth as LFO one is modulating pitch. So now when I move the mod wheel, you can hear the LFO rate change. It might be a bit more interesting to use LFO2. And let's make the LFO modulate the filter cutoff. And let's get rid of the pitch modulation. It doesn't seem to be working. Let's find out what's going on. Let's make sure the rate is fast enough. We can increase the depth of modulation. Let's set it to maximum for now. I should probably open up that filter a bit as well. And now we can hear the modulation. Let's choose that pluck shape, the ramp down shape. That sounds pretty cool. Let's try reducing the depth a little bit. It's a bit too much. That sounds just nice. Now there is a faster way to set up things in the modulation matrix. So instead of going in and scrolling through the different options here, you can just hold down this mod button and just touch the parameter. So for example, if I hold down the mod switch and touch the attack, now that's been assigned to the destination. If I hold down mod and touch the pitch bend wheel, that's been assigned to the source. If I hold down the mod switch and move the data slider, I can control the depth of modulation. A bit of a strange modulation setup, but I was just showing you how you can quickly assign those parameters. So for example, if you want to use the mod envelope, you can scroll here and look for it. Or the quicker way, if it wasn't available, it's a hold down the mod button and hold down the mod envelope button. And now it's been assigned as your source. Hold down mod and move the data slider to adjust the depth. And hold down mod and touch the pulse width slider to assign that as a destination. So now envelope 3, or the mod envelope, is going to modulate the pulse width on oscillator 1. Let's get rid of the LFO modulation so we can just hear the mod envelope. There was sounding pretty interesting with the LFO modulation running as well. That's the philosophy behind creating more complex sounds. Multiple modulators running simultaneously is one easy way to achieve that. So that's the mod matrix section. In the next tutorial, we'll check out the arpeggiator.